right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the varsity basketball matchup between Seaford High School and the Chatham Central Bears. This will be a big game. A couple weeks ago, uh, Seaford uh, defeated the Chatham Central Bears. Now we got, then they have us on their home court. Let's see what happens today. Eight minutes to go, start of the first quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. Gary Stevenson jumping the ball, tipping the ball up. We normally had this play, we tipped the coop. It looks like they just scouted, they scouted our play, and they was ready for that quick tap, and as soon as it happened, the kid ran and took it, and they went for a layup opportunity, missed the layup. Chatham, uh, Chatham Central is in the 2-3. Uh, Seifert moving the ball around nicely. They got a nice play for Chatham. This was a play that they was working on in practice, it's to swing the ball side to side, and they throw it on the backside for a flush. Jaron Stevenson took care of business. Two nothing, Seaford High School. Seven minutes, twenty five seconds left in the first quarter. Seaford in a one two two with Jaron at the top. Strong rebound by Lock. Out to Brandon Sturdivant. He pushes the ball up. He's the point guard for the day. Noah uh, injured his hand in practice yesterday, so Brandon Sturdivant got called in for duty. Anyway, moving the ball against a 2-1-2. They're playing a 2-1-2-2-3. Moving the ball out to uh, Jaron. He moves the ball back to the women, back to Ty, back to uh, Locke. Locke drives the ball out to um, Ty again. He misses the shot, rebound by Jaron. He goes up close to the rim. When he's that close to the rim, it is very, very difficult to stop him. This was a conversation I had with uh, Coach Duran. Once Jaron gets the ball within one to two feet of that rim, it's over. He's probably shooting 90%. 4-0. Frick winning. Six minutes and 28 seconds left. Three-point shot by Chatham uh, Central. They secure the rebound. Back out to 22. He fires the three. Misses it. Brandon Sturdivant secured the rebound. One kid went to snatch it from him. But while he was doing it, number 22 fouled him. It is four nothing, six minutes, 14 seconds left. First quarter, Seaford ball. Ball at the tie, back to Brandon. Brandon brings the ball up. They work in that three twos high low set. They got a back screen again. It looks to work for Jaron. Got the ball out to Jaron. Again, Jaron Stevenson, once he's close to that rim, it is darn near impossible to stop him. So, and that's what's happening. There's been, what, three baskets or three goals where Jaron has scored close to the rim. Ty got the ball in the fast break. You're all step. Puts it up. Score. Ain't nothing. Uh, Seaford High School, five minutes, 34 seconds left. At some point, the other coach is going to start thinking about calling the timeout. But this thing is going to be over with before it started. Three-point shot by Jaron Central. Miss. Secure the rebound by Jaron. He, he pushes the ball up. So it's the floor. He sees Ty in that short corner. Out to Brandon. Lock got the ball short corner. Flushes out to Brandon. Three point shot. Misses it. Picks it back. Ah, he shuffled his feet. He jump stopped to get the ball. Then he moved both feet again. And that's the reason why he walked just now. It is Chatham Central's uh, ball. You're awesome. Where's, uh, where's my man at? Yeah. We're going to be grandparents. Mm. Mm. So Seaford has the ball. Five minutes left. Eight nothing Seaford. Brandon brings the ball up. Again, basic 3-2 set. High low. We got, uh, now we got Ty and uh, Jaren in the post. Coop drives to the middle. Puts the shot up, misses it. Ball secured by Chatham. Kicks it out to the three-pointer. Shoots, misses it. As Chatham Central was trying to secure the rebound, number 24 inadvertently fouled Coop. It is now Seifert's basketball. Now, the one thing that I'm noticing right away is the Chatham Central Bears, they want to get a rebound, and they want to try to push it as quick as possible to try to get a goal before Seifert's defense gets set. Seifert still has the ball. They swing around the, around the perimeter. Lock has it. Turns it over. Four picks it up. 
He's attacking the rim. He puts it up. He picks it up. He misses the shot, but he gets fouled in the act of shooting. They put him on the line for two free throws. It's 8 nothing. Seafort with 4 minutes, 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Number, number 4 shoots, knocks down the first one. It is now 8-1, 4 minutes, 13 seconds. Now, it would not surprise me if the Chatham Central Bears all of a sudden tries to pressure the ball for court. They're going to make. He just happened to miss it, so we don't know yet. Seifert takes their time, move the ball around. That's the sharpshooter. He misses that one. Number 30 push, secures it, pushes it. Notice what they're doing. They're pushing the ball heavy and fast before Jaron can retreat back to defense. That has been a concerted effort. They want to push the ball as hard as possible. Jaron attacks the rim, misses the shot. They push the ball again. Back to four. He tried to throw a little ducking pass to the uh, low block. Miss Q, 8-3, 8-3 for up with three minutes and 32 seconds left. They're put on the press. They're pressing the right now. They're looking to get it to the middle, but look like they're taking the middle out. Again, Jaren's close to the rim. It's a wrap. Every time he touches that ball within one or two feet, he's shooting 90%. It's 10-3 Seifert, three minutes, 14 seconds left. Channel Central moves the ball in the perimeter. Nothing there for attack. Stops and pops, misses it. Jaren secures the rebound, surveys the floor, looks, looks. Out to Coop, out to Brandon, back to uh, Jaren, one foot from the basket. Bang! 12 3 Seifert, two minutes, 50 seconds left. Every time they get the ball in within one foot of the bound, he's 90%. 12 3 Seifert, two minutes and 42 seconds. The Chatham Bears launches a three, number four hits it. 12-5, 2 minutes, 30 seconds left. Chatham is into this press again. Looks like Jaron is wide open in the middle. They got a straight up 2-1-2 press break situation. Get the ball to lock. Lock service the floor. In and out. Looks like uh, looks like the ball was tipped out by the Chatham Central Bear, but the referee didn't see it. They give the ball to Seifert. I mean, get the ball to uh, Chatham, the Chatham Central Bears. It's 12-6. Two minutes, 21 seconds left. Seifert is up. Seifert still in that 2-3. Central move the ball around the perimeter. Back to the cutter. Number 30 pulls up for a three. Bang! It's 12 to nine. Two minutes, eight seconds left in the first quarter. Jaron has the ball in the middle. Out to Coop. Coop on the lock. Lock gets it. Trapped in the corner. Out to Brandon. Shoots up for a corner three. Misses it. Excellent rebound by Coop. Misses it. Lock goes up. Coop gets it back. And one. Coop with a strong rebound scores. It is 14 to 9. Seaford's ball. One minute, 45 seconds left. Out to the high post again. Out to the short corner. He mishandles the ball. Seaford's got the ball. Jaron brings the ball up the court. He trips him up. Falls. Referee calls foul. Feet got tangled up. 14 to 9. Seaford. One minute. 32 seconds. Looks like Declan's coming in for Brandon. Declan's coming in for Brandon. And also Seba is coming in for Locke at the 1 minute 32 mark. Uh, the central still in that 2-3. Looks like Ty is taking over the point guard responsibilities. He's surveying the floor, moves the ball around. Looks like they set something up again for Jaron. Uh, so what happened was, ball went to Coop. Ball went to Coop. He lost sight of where Chatham Bears were. And then uh, they stole it from him all the way down, scored the two. 14 to 11, Seifert basketball. One minute left in the first quarter. So they're in the floor, moving the ball around. Set the screen, out to Jaron. Takes the shot, back to Ty. Ty looks at the floor, shoots to Declan. Declan. He attempts to bounce past the seven. It gets knocked away. Kick ball. It is Seifert ball on the right side. Out the tie at the top. It's 45 seconds left. 14 or 11. Seifert. Looks like they're trying to set up a corner three. Ah, that was the right idea. Declan got the ball at the high post. 
They saw that Jaron was going to the corner for a corner three, but they forgot about the guy at the block. He was trying to make a pass there, but it just didn't happen. There was a foul uh, before he can make that pass. And it's for ball underneath the rim. This is that Hawk play. This is going back to Jaron in the middle, coming back toward the ball after the pass is the coop. Uh, ball gets knocked away. Time goes up, loses it. Oh, that's a very dangerous play. That's a very dangerous play. What happened was it was a loose ball. Uh, the Chatham, uh, the Central Bears dived for the ball, and unfortunately, he dived on the back of Jaron's leg. Very dangerous. That's the kind of stuff that we, 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 we got to be careful with. Good. There it is. They playing extremely physical. Referees are not really calling it. It is 14-13. It is 14-13. Seafirst basketball with 21 seconds left in the first quarter. Now, I had mentioned to Coach Gerard prior to the game that these referees that actually coach, that actually ref the girl game, they weren't calling too many things. And right now, you see the same exact thing playing out. We're going to have to play through contact or it's going to be a long day at the office. But I know we can do it. So, here we go. 20 seconds left, 14-13. Seafoot uh, made another cross court pass. Kids going up. Jaron blocks it on the glass. Back out. It's nine seconds left, 14-13. 20 face the three. He pulled through from deep, misses it. It is two seconds left, 14-13. Seafoot's up. They get the, uh, Central got the ball with 2.2 seconds left. It's going to be a catch and shoot situation. There it is. Number 30 pulls up, misses it, air balls it. 14-13 at the end of the first quarter. Seaford is up. It's been a very interesting first quarter. I think that uh, Seaford came out blazing. The Bears, uh, Central Bears came out. They settled in a little bit. Ultimately, uh, their game plan is to push the ball up quickly on every miss. 14-13 Seaford into the first quarter. 